game. Rather, Jamal Talley beat Parviz Karimov of Tajikistan by unanimous decision. I think they could be quite well matched, these two. He's economical and accurate to Plitney. Talley, quite explosive. Very good nick. Goes to the body quite a bit. Can tend to, to load up to an extent. He looks to really throw with, with almost maximum power with, with pretty much everything he lets go. He did in the, the fight I saw the other day anyway. That's the only time I've seen him fight. Loads of new faces in this World Championships. Which just makes it an even more interesting tournament. And you can feel the quality rising as we click through the as we click through the rounds and the the weaker fighters are eliminated. That's just how it goes. This is the survival of the fittest of the strongest of the best. So it's a plenty of Moldova in the red, tally of USA in the blue. You look at them physically there, you look at the shoulders and the chest on, on Tally and he looks a weight class above Saplitney there really. So here we go into the first round, USA in the blue there, Jamar Tally, Andre Saplitney, Moldova in the red. Jab there, Tully. Goes down to the body, does work the body with regularity. Showed that in his first fight. Again, just peppering that rib cage. The plitney looking for the head most often. Trying to get that jab away. Advantage in hand speed here is with is with Tally, as I said, he's an explosive kind of a fighter. Just drops his knees a little bit there and, and punches the body once more. One, two from Tally, doesn't really get through. A minute into the first round and a lot has been thrown in that opening 60 seconds. Left hand from Tally, moves off to the left as he throws it. Goes for the jab to the body. Right hand from Tally as Zaplitny came forward midway through the round, just past the midway stage. Approaches slightly differently, I think, Tally, from the first fight of his that I saw. Jab there from Zaplitny. As I mentioned at the start, he, he did look to kind of load up and throw everything with maximum power. That hasn't really been the case in this fight so far. It was a good performance in his previous outing, but that was just one thing I spotted. The, the gum shield has come out there. I think they both just traded blows at almost exactly the same time. Forty two seconds remaining in round one. <laughs> Oh, 
hand on the break there from Saplitney. Final few seconds of round one. Tally certainly out through and, and outlanded to Flitney there, I thought, in the opening round, and he gets it 10 nines across the board. Sets a high tempo tally. Interesting to see whether he can sustain it through the second and, and third rounds. Cut on the inside. Just a little half step back there and, and shot the right hand up. I didn't even really see that the first time around because they're in the corner, which is nearest to me, but as a put in these back was kind of to me. Into the second. So Jamal Tally of the USA in the blue has taken all five cards at the end of round one, 10 points to nine, and it's a put the I think is going to find this quite difficult. It's not immediately obvious what what he can do to turn this around, other than just keep working and, and keep the faith that the work rate might dip from Jamar Tally because Tally really is just better than him in all departments. He's a bit physically bigger and therefore stronger. He's got quicker hands. He's got more variety. Defensively, his, his reflexes are pretty sharp <laughs> I'll just open a little bit there for tally minute into round two to put me moving in tally just trying to time him with the right hand to put me just trying to lean on and, and just show tally that he's not going to be pushed around physically Referee just warning him about keeping the head up. He has dipped quite low at the weight in this second round at times. He doesn't want to be giving away a point deduction. Midway through the fight. To put he's just trying to step on Tally, who almost lifts him up with the shoulder there. Again, just a little demonstration of the physical strength. Plitney trying to keep that head on the move as he comes forward. Tally with the jab. So Plitney getting on to the inside. Maybe just a little bit more now. I think I think he is feeling the pace a bit here, Tally. One, two there from Sir Plitney. It's the final minute of, of round two. So Plitney needs to try and step on the gas here, I think, because Tally won that opening round. He needs to get this one back. The Moldovan. It can be done if he finishes strongly. Tally's had the better of the opening two minutes here, much like he did in the in the first round. Right hand there from Zaplitny. Heads just rubbing together rather than clashing. Zaplitny just pushing Tally off. Tally looking for the right to the body. 30 seconds left in the round. Well, a point has gone. A point has gone for the head. And I did say that could be a problem, and the referee has gone down that route, and that could be, well, that is always significant, a point deduction. Tally, I think, has done enough to win this round for me. And the point deduction would essentially make it an even round, and that would mean that he would have a one-point advantage going into the final round, but my card doesn't count. We'll have to wait and see what the, the judges do, because that could be a big swing if any of them have given it to... Zaplitny, well it's 10 lines with the judges across the board in favour of Tally, so he's two rounds to nil up, but there's the point deduction, so rather than being two points clear, and kind of out of sight, almost anyway, he isn't, because it's 19-18 on all five of those cards, and Zaplitny needs to go out and win this final round, if he can win this final round on three of those cards and tied them up at 28-28 and the judges decisions their casting vote that they have to make in the event of a draw goes his way with those three then he'll win so it's a big ask but it's doable and Tally's got to be careful with that head 
And I do think it's a slight sign of, of tiredness. He's just Ripping dipping low a little bit as he comes in, leaning in a touch. Just pumping out that jab. Zaplitny trying to move in. Fainting with the front foot there, Tally. Nice jab. Just having a trade up on the inside, these two. Leading off with the right hand there, Tally. Looks nice and sharp in the opening minute of round three so far. But there's a long way to go in this round. Hooking on the move. Good combination there from Tally, sinking a couple into the body. I think the corner of just sent him out here for the final round here, Tally telling him, listen, do not give this away. You cannot give this away. Make absolutely certain that he's responding here because he looks like he's found a bit of a second win that I think he I'm sure he was feeling at that second round. He certainly looked like a man who was. But he doesn't anymore. Midway through the third round, Zaplitny's just not been able to make any inroads so far. As I say, he's got to keep the faith, keep getting close, trying to let those hands go. One thing he's made absolutely sure here, Tally, is that he has not come in low with the head. The referee has a chat with him about the head there, but he's just dipped off to his left hand side as Zaplitny came forward at him. Really, what else is he supposed to do? To put the just with those feet on the move again. And as I said, the, the problem he's had is that he's up against an opponent here who's just better than him, really, in every department. But he's stuck to his task. He's always just going to try and get those feet in, let his hands go. few seconds around three and he's he's responded here Jamal Tally because he looked like he faded just a little bit in that second round he still did enough to win the round but then there was the point deduction so he went into this final round 19 points to 18 up with the five judges rather than 20 points to 18 up so having a little saunter around the ring there but he's won that final round and he's through to the quarterfinals Dear guests, it's now time for the concluding bout of the 13th session in the ring A, bout number 346 in a man's heavyweight division. Ringside judges from India, England, Egypt, Chinese Taipei, and Croatia. Referee in the ring, Johnny Maiden, France. Ladies and gentlemen, Ring B brings a close to about 357. With your judges ruling in favor of your winner by points declared by unanimous decision, to the blue corner from the USA is Jamal So Tally goes through, and he's won that fight three rounds to nil with all five of the judges, but turned into a 29-27 rather than a 30 points to 27, thanks to that point deduction in the second round. And that's another good win. He's looked good, he's looked sharp. So he's through to the quarterfinals. Who will he be up against? It'll either be Hussein Aish Aish of Jordan or Emmanuel Reyes, a fighter now boxing out of Spain, originally from Havana.